Hello Leo, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and today I'll be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of February 2023. If this is uh, one of your first times catching one of my readings, whoa, <laughs> I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I'm using my pink tarot deck. Uh, I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite tarot. And then I will close out your reading. Fix this here. <laughs> I will close out your reading, Leo, with a Goddess Guidance Oracle card. So I'm just trying to make sure uh, all the cards are in frame here. And... Looks like it's going to be okay. Let me see. Maybe. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Sorry about the little adjustment. Uh, let's see. I think um, we can get right into it, Leo. So what do we need to know for the sign of Leo as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? Ooh, for the month of February 2023. All right, Leo, it's looking really good. You're going to get some assistance, some support. Someone's going to come to your aid in some way. Now, the other thing about the Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's, it's a card that talks about someone showing up in the right capacity. So not only is it the right timing, but it's also the right way and exactly the way you need someone to show up. Okay, that's going to happen in this first week of February. And because we're talking about money, <clears throat> usually this is something work, money, finance related, okay? Um, the other thing about the Knight of Cups is that this is somebody who knows, knows you really, really well. And so they can really show up um, exactly how you need them to. But it goes deeper than just surface, you know, because the Cups also talk about emotional stuff, emotional connections and ties. So I just kind of want to put that out there because I think you're going to be surprised that there's someone who actually knows you well enough to deliver exactly what you need in the time and in the way that you need it. So we also have the Three of Cups. That's a celebration. Again, something good, <laughs> something you're going to be happy about. We have the Queen of Wands. This is unexpected changes happening in the workplace. Don't be surprised if your office, you know, things change or shift. It's environmental changes. This is physical changes, right? So it's going to be something unexpected, but it's not necessarily bad. It just kind of throws you off for a little while. And because we're talking about money, I get the sense that uh, a lot of times this card shows up when it's like changes in your physical environment at the place where you work at, you know, at your place of employment, or maybe in your business, maybe there's furniture rearranged or a door, you know, has to be changed out, you know, something like that. Next up, we have the Emperor. Now, this is the card of control, okay? This means that you do have everything under control as it relates to your finances. This is a really good thing because you don't want things to be out of control. You don't want things to be chaotic. Uh, looks like you're staying on top of everything that you need to stay on top of as it relates to your money. We also have two very good cards here, the Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Nine of Cups, two nines there. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of, la you know, lavish, uh, extravagance, abundance, splurging on yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you Leos take the time to really invest in yourself in some way. Could be some self-care. Could be uh, maybe buying yourself something you've been wanting for a while. Either way, now is the time to spoil yourself. Finally, we have the Nine of Cups. That's the wish card. That means that something you've been hoping for, praying for, does show up. Uh, in a very good way, you know, you may have a few, you know, changes happening, but it looks like all these changes are taking you closer to what you want to experience as it relates to finances. All right, Leo, let's continue on and see what else shows up for you. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of February 2023, what do we need to know for the sign of Leo? All right, Leo, we got that two of cups there. That's a divine union. That's a divine connection. Looks like you're going to be connecting with someone again in the perfect timing and in the perfect way. Okay, 
I got all these cards here and I don't feel like these cards are part of the reading, but I do feel like this one is. All right, that's a communication card. You've got two communication cards here, so we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, like I said, someone, you know, you're connecting with someone at the right timing and the right way. And I do feel like this is connected to this person here, okay? So this is someone you can trust. This is someone who knows you well enough, you know, to um, help deliver whatever it is that you need, okay? The Judgment card, this is a card of self-awareness. This is a card about you investing in yourself, like we talked about here. Uh, but this is also kind of doing that inner work. It's becoming aware of where you need help and where you excel and using that to your advantage in the journey of making more money, of being more successful. Self-awareness is the first step. You need to know uh, what exactly you need to improve so you can advance in your career or you can expand or scale your business, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Next up, we have the death card. That's a card of transition, life transformation. And I do feel like these two cards are connected. The judgment card, remember, is the inner work. Uh, the death card talks about every aspect of your life changing for the better, literally putting to death the old self because a new self is reborn and is moving forward through, you know, through whatever it is that you're trying to do as it relates to your work, your career, your school, your money, your investments, all those things. Uh, we also have, like I talked about, these are two communication cards. Now, you got both communication cards right next to each other, which means that you got to pay attention to the conversations that you're having with people, especially as it relates to money and finances. Uh, you need to get everything in writing because some people will have a sketchy memory and they'll say, oh, I never said that, whatever. Uh, make sure that your conversations are documented, okay? That's really going to help you. Uh, both now and in the future. So make sure that you are clear when you are having conversations or even written communication with people that everybody, excuse me, everybody understands what you're trying to say, what you're trying to do, okay? All right, Leo. Wow, all right, you've got a lot of cards falling out here, so we are gonna start with those. Oh, these are good. These are really good. All right, I just need one more card for Leo, and there it is. All right, Leo, so you've got the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is a card about feeling a little discouraged, which, you know, you've, you've got a lot of changes happening throughout, you know, the first half of February, especially as it relates to your personal life and your money life. So I'm, I'm not surprised to see this card where you feel a little bit discouraged or frustrated, okay? But understand that it's only going to be temporary because you also have the Ace of Cups. This is the start of something new. This is also the card of overflow. This is also the card of you working a lot, this Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, you're going to be, you know, at having an advantage um, because you are going to be in a position of abundance or actually having more than you need. And that does apply to money. All right, so this is a very good position to be in, although, you know, it may feel a little different and maybe a little unstable in some aspects, but the card of overflow and abundance is definitely coming your way, all right? And you're going to have more work if you want, you know, you're going to have more clients, more customers, you'll be able to pick up overtime, that type of thing. So if you want to work more to make more, that opportunity will definitely be available to you. Now we also have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something with no regrets. Now, because it fell on this death card, I'm getting the sense here that because you're transforming your life and your financial well-being for the better, you are going to have to walk away and say no to a few things. And that's normal in this journey. So when you become more successful, obviously you change how you spend your time. You may change who you um, you know, hang around with. All of those things are part of the process. We also have the five, of, the five of Pentacles. That is the money mindset card. All right. So where where is your mind at as it relates to finances? As it relates to your long term plan, your your financial goals. Um, sometimes I see this card when people have financial insecurity. So again, uh, you're going to have to examine exactly how this fits into your perspective, Leo, because I get the sense that even though you have money coming in, sometimes you still feel a little anxious as it relates to, you know, your financial well-being. And that's normal again, but it's something that you have to get clear about because sometimes things are not exactly as we perceive them to be. 
Finally, we got the Queen of Cups. Now, that's a card of emotional sensitivity. Uh, because she's in the reverse, that means you could be feeling a little overly emotional about money, uh, especially in the second half of February. Again, I think this is connected to this uh, financial mindset, you know, and, you know, again, feeling a little bit insecure financially, even though you have no obvious reasons to feel that way. But I understand a lot of us are very driven and hungry, and sometimes, you know, we can't rest until we hit those money goals that we set out for ourselves. All right, Leo, let's see what else is showing up for you as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of February 2023. All right, good news coming about something being discontinued. When I see that page of swords, that means that something's going to be stopped and it's going to be something that actually makes you very, very happy. It could be a... Um, you know, a monthly fee, usually that's what it, what it is <laughs> in my money readings, um, you know, or something like a monthly bill or something, or, you know, maybe you pay something off and now you don't have to pay it anymore. It's one of those things where, you know, you're going to have some good news about something being stopped. Next up, the Seven of Cups. Ooh, look for a lot of opportunities to come your way as it relates to your work. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you get a few job offers or maybe an invitation to partner in some way with someone. Uh, that Seven of Cups means you're going to be presented with a lot of things, but not all of them are going to resonate with you. So just be clear about what you want and what your goals are, and I think the decision should be pretty easy uh, whether you say yes or whether you say no. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, that means you're going to be doing a lot of work independently. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think that you're going to find more success working by yourself than you will in a group. Okay? So don't feel bad if you have to say no to a, a group project or something like that. I do sense that you're going to be more successful uh, kind of working your own plan and doing your own thing in your own way, Leo. That's going to bring you the most success. Okay? Finally, we got the Strength card and then that Empress card. That's creative energy overflowing. And Strength card literally means strength in every aspect of what you're doing. You're going to have strong physical strength, but you're also going to have the strong mental strength in order to keep going. You know, you're very solid. You're very uh, grounded in what it is that you want to do and how you want to do it. And I think the Strength card also represents you just not giving up. And you just kind of, you know, keeping, you know, keeping going, keeping working, you know, you're, you're uh, very determined and very disciplined in what it is that you're working for as it relates to your money. So that's a really good, a good strong position to be in. And that Empress card, like I said, is the card of creativity. So it looks like you'll have some new ideas flowing your way. The other thing is, is the Empress card also represents the birthing of something new. So it could be um, maybe you launched something towards the end of February. You could launch a new website. Maybe you're launching a new business or maybe you're introducing a new product to the marketplace. I see this card a lot when those types of things happen, which is very exciting. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if you launch something profitable at the end of the month, Leo. Okay, so overall, Leo, you've got a lot of changes happening, but you've got a lot of good happening too. And it looks like, you know, the money is flowing towards you. I mean, there's nothing holding holding that back and there's nothing getting in the way. Uh, you may have to kind of shift, you know, uh, your mindset a little bit. But other than that, I think you're going to do really well. And money will definitely come to you in February. All right, let's go ahead and... Close out your reading with a Goddess Guidance Oracle card. All right, so for you, Leo, we got Quan Yin, Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Hmm, very nice. This is something I need to work on more. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to be compassionate if I think someone is not necessarily being, uh, you know, honest or good. But I hope that helps you, Leo. I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check in with you again next month.